Welcome to Redwood Beekeeping. This is a general overview of the ongoing care and supplies required for this internship. If you need more information on any of the topics discussed in this video, you might need to do more research online. First, let's go over the tools needed for an average day of beekeeping. They include a smoker, suit and gloves, brush, hive tool, and for the harvesting process, a honey extractor or an uncapping tool. Now onto the setup of the hives. This past year, I split the hives, so there are now two that must be taken care of. The queen and the brood should be at the bottom, and the honey should be at the top. These two sections are separated by a queen excluder. The ongoing care for the bees includes hive inspections, honey harvests, and path clearing. Inspections should occur every week or every couple of weeks. When you find queen cells during an inspection, you should destroy them. If you see insects, such as beetles or spiders, in the hive, they should be removed or killed. Look for brood patterns, eggs, which show that the queen is alive and well, and the queen herself. If the queen is new, mark her by holding onto her legs with one hand and dabbing paint with the other. Be sure not to move frames around unnecessarily and change the order of the hive boxes. Another thing to watch out for is the size of the hive entrance. If the entrance is too small, it slows down production because it takes too long for the bees to move in and out. However, if it's too big, it is difficult for the bees to defend themselves from intruding insects. When using the smoker, don't smoke the bees from too close a distance because it can burn their wings. Also be aware of fire safety hazards. Don't leave your smoker unattended or in a precarious position, especially because the hives are surrounded by tall dry grass, which brings me to another responsibility of the job, clearing the area. This involves weeding, making sure the path to the hives is unobstructed, and cutting down any plants that are directly next to the hives. As for honey, there is no set schedule for harvesting because the flow of honey can be unpredictable, especially depending on the health of the hive. However, you shouldn't let honey build up to the point where the bees swarm due to a lack of space. Season is also a major factor in harvests. You should not harvest during the winter because the bees will need to eat the honey. If they need more sustenance, you may feed them using an inverted mason jar with sugar syrup. As for the harvesting experience, there's a separate video made by a former intern in which the details are clarified. So those are the essentials for the Redwood Hives. Be sure to ask the internet if you have any further questions. Thank you.